When we finally got down to something which the individual says he really wants to do, I will say to him, you do that. And uh, forget the money. Uh, because if you say that getting the money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. You'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living, that is to go on doing things you don't like doing, which is stupid. Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. So why are we doing this? Why, okay, individually, why are you, are you doing this podcast? Um, because I feel like Expressing myself is not only good for me, it feels good for me to like let me flow mm -hmm. out, but it's also good for other people because I've experienced things that they could have even experienced similar things, but because of other things I experienced, I had a particular like view during it. Um, and that could be like of benefit to other people's future experiences at the beginning. Yeah. Like this is awesome what we're doing. Just like sitting and having a genuine conversation. Like yeah, with yeah. three friends it's just chilling mm -hmm. and talking. Mm -hmm. Like listening to each other's ideas. And that is why I want to do a podcast. Is to share these ideas that we've had and share ideas that other people have had. Because it's valuable to share like the positive experiences with things that work, things that don't work, and finding what's right for you in your life, and sharing just just the awesomeness of life in general with the world. Yeah, I feel like I feel like we don't get the opportunity a lot to say what we think or say what we mean. Yeah. You, like you should say what you mean and mean what you say. Yeah. And I feel like that we don't get the opportunity a lot. So I feel like this is a good place to share ideas and then share our experiences so us and the viewers can come out of the video like better or like knowing something yeah, they didn't yeah. know before. Like inspired. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. inspired to like share and express themselves. Yeah. And it definitely feels grounding too, like just sitting and being able to have honest honest expression. It like so much of the time we're in our head and we're thinking about like I'll be thinking about what you're thinking about, and we'll go off on these things yeah. that are just made up in our heads. Yeah. But once we talk about it, we'll be like, oh, like, you weren't thinking that? Like, yeah. no, I wasn't thinking this, and we can say how it actually yeah. is, and then it brings us both down on the same like playing field, and we don't feel weird about each other, we feel like good about each yeah. other, which yeah. is how it should be. So I feel like everyone, I feel like everyone kind of thinks the same way. I mean, not really, but like have the same ideas, but we're too scared to share yeah, them because yeah. they might be dumb. Yeah. But then you say them, and the other person is like, "Yo, I was totally thinking that too." Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. We're actually thinking generally the same thing a lot of the times mm -hmm. because we're all human. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's something called the shared human experience yeah. where we're yeah. just like we're very similar. We're one species, just mm -hmm. like doing the same thing. So yeah, my idea is that ignorance isn't bliss, so like, that's another reason we're doing this podcast, <laughs> in my view, is like, talking about all these things that are going on, and we get to a point beyond being scared of the truth, mm -hmm. and we get to a point of accepting what is the truth and what is the logical thing to do about it. So you learn more about the situation and you can adapt better. So like, I experienced some shit that no one else did. I should share that if it could, if I think it could be a benefit to other yeah. people. So like, that's why we express, and that's like, why people started talking in the first place. Like, this one guy goes out on some venture. He's like, oh yeah, I saw this herd of deer. Like they're going this way, like two miles, and everyone's just like, oh we're like, it's easier for everyone once we're all on the same page and we can like link up and execute the mission properly. <laughs> yeah, that's literally why like, communication is like, made like, help each other out. Mm -hmm. like, that's a really good point. Share knowledge. Exactly. Going back to like, ancest our ancestors and how they lived in tribes and hunted and gathered together. Mm -hmm. If you didn't work together, your chances of survival went way down. Mm -hmm. And communication was like, essential, like mm -hmm. good, 
communication, like among tri among tribe members. And now communication is like not so in person. Now. It's this. So it's like chopped up and. Yeah. And so much of my, obviously, I talk to people a lot, but when growing up, but so much of my interactions where I was having like deep conversations or just like even not even deep conversation, just talking to someone for a while was through texting. I can talk to people for hours texting and you see each other face to face. Like, well, yeah, exactly. And you just, like, you go back to the yeah, phone and like yeah, text somebody yeah, else. Yeah. <laughs> Like, why can we not do this face-to-face -face situation anymore? I feel like the difference between texting and talking is like texting, like they'll send something and you have like you have four minutes to like think of a response. Yeah, when you're yeah. talking in person, you have to like like if you say something, they say something, you say something. Yeah, like, definitely, like, definitely. I feel like people don't say a lot because they don't want to sound dumb because they have no time to like think of a response. Mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. I find myself in that situation a lot where I just don't think of something fast enough, so I'll just be like, yeah, or yeah, just exactly. say something really simple like that, and then later I'll be like, and I have a good point, or if someone, um, I'm like arguing with someone, or going back and forth on something, they'll say something that I know, is like, I have a point in me to like, refute that, but I just like, can't freestyle it fast enough, so I'm just uh -huh. like, oh, fuck it. It's the same as like comebacks. Like yeah. you always think of the best comeback like five minutes yeah, after yeah, the conversation. Like, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> like freestyle mm -hmm. rap battle. Yeah. But it's weird how like, we're moving faster but thinking slower. Yeah. <laughs> our bodies are like ahead of our minds now. Yeah. And I guess that kind of relates into what you guys said you were talking about the other week with people doing something they don't want to do their whole life, which also relates to like kids jumping right into college without knowing what they want to do. Like their body is ahead of their mind. Mm -hmm. Their mind is just like, oh, this is the next step, but they haven't fully thought through like, what are the next steps after yeah, that? Like, like, mm -hmm. They know like, the first step and not like, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which I think that's a reason gap years are so important kids to go out and experience it. Just live and don't worry about like going to school or getting a job. Yeah. Just experience some shit and you'll figure out what you like and don't like. We don't really know that and we jump into school and then we do four years and we're like, man, I don't want anything to do with this major. Yeah. yeah. Sorry for wasting all your money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry guys. Yeah, information is definitely valuable. And that's, it's, that's all we have to offer. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Knowledge and power. Mm -hmm. And a lot of our information is based off our experiences. So like expressing that is good. Here's a good segue, like experiences. Like we talk about this all the time. Uh like growth in experience is most of the time in order to grow you have to suffer. Mm -hmm. Like adverse experiences where the most Happens. Mm -hmm. yeah, why. Having certain practices, whether it's like a weekly practice or daily practice, is a good thing to remind you of what that quote said or all the things you've learned. Because we know what's good, it's, it's in us mm -hmm. already. Like, you don't really need to see it, you can kind of, you'll figure it out because it's in there. But these things outside of us can remind us. But having like daily practices, whatever it is, it's like, writing down five things you're grateful for, just having something yeah. that's like your reminder of like kind of your core values and something that's real to you, just something you believe in, reminding you of what you believe in. So much of the time we forget and our actions don't align with what we believe in. And then we feel shitty because <laughs> our actions didn't align. We're yeah. like, oh, I'm fine, I do that. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. today, like, I did that today, eating this, like, eating this <laughs> white flour, <laughs> sugary bread that was so delicious. <laughs> I honestly don't regret it that much. <laughs> but it's not something that I normally do. And I'm pretty gassy from it now. <laughs> so I'm, I'm feeling the consequences. And I definitely don't want to do that again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's why I was saying it's, like it's an experiment. experiment like yeah, that. yeah. But that's the crucial thing: living and learning. Yeah. You said write down five things you're real for. 
I think that's a great like thing to do because a lot of people take things for granted. Mm -hmm. And like they're called first world problems. Like, yeah. like we have electricity and water <laughs> and actual food. Everything is great right now. <laughs> yeah. Like, everything is yeah. couldn't be better. We mentioned this earlier. We have the option to be healthy. Yeah. yeah. We like what? <laughs> we have We're the like, choice. Nah. We have the choice. <laughs> The choice to be healthy, the choice to be successful, the choice to take action. Like there are so many people who don't mm -hmm. have those options that we have. Like, and we take it for granted. Mm -hmm. Make up problems. Yeah, like we have a twenty-four hour hair tier, right? Yeah, yeah. we can get anything we want. One hours food. for twenty-four food from hours. From all over the world. <laughs> yeah, Indian food. Yeah, um, Asian food. So what you food. want? Yeah, for real. Let's go over to Harry Teats. Or we're still just sitting here, like. I wish I had something. I don't know what I want. I want something. I But yeah, those daily practices are crucial because they keep you on track. And that's an, being on track is an interesting thing because there's like the track of the track that society set, like, like we talked about earlier, like go to school, go to college, get married, get a job, all that stuff. That's like this set defined track. But your path is like a loose path. It's like a path that's right for you. It's not like a straight road. Your path can be running all like wild through the woods. It's not like a straight thing. But just doing daily things that like keep you on the path that's right for you. Like meditating is also a practice. Like meditating is, that's why they call it a practice because it's, you practice becoming present and becoming like here now. Um, and you just like practice that more and more. It's not like this, the game, like you do it to get better at right. the it's game. <laughs> medita like doing meditation isn't like, there's not really like, you're not gonna get, you're not, you're not like achieving, I don't know, like there's no end point to meditation. Yeah, yeah. It's just a perpetual journey yeah. of like, it's joining the presence, like, not back time. to the awareness. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's not like you're gonna cross a finish line and mm -hmm. say, I'm fully meditated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard someone said something recently to me. It was like, no one has ever made you mad. It's just how you took it. Mm -hmm. Like That's so true. <laughs> like, no one's like, if someone cuts you off or if you're in traffic, it's your own choice to get mad at that mm -hmm. yeah, decision. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. choice, decision, like, yeah. So like, Saves. yeah, you can even be like, if you're in traffic, you can be happy because you can listen to music and you don't have to focus on driving. Yeah. If someone cuts you off, you can you can just, you can think about it like, maybe they're in a rush, maybe they're gonna get someone fast, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I think we act too impulsively on that initial thought, we're like, uh? <laughs> and then we just like act on it, we jump on that, we, we don't like think about take it. a breath for a second and be like, oh. Or do we just go on and then we like yeah. cuss them out or whatever it is? Yeah. yeah. We don't take that because we don't, that doesn't seem like it's our like core, like natural self no. to like be mad at someone. It's a like, product of like today's society. Like yeah, what yeah. our general situation is we're in this all the time and like that goes, that can connect back to like creating a mindfulness practice in your life. Like, you know, you are gen the normal reaction to any situation like that is to just angry, like mm -hmm. react and cuss. And but the mindfulness practice can your brain will like catch that. Be like, mm -hmm. oh wait, no. mm -hmm. it's cool. Mm -hmm. I can just breathe and yeah, like, don't react. have to matter. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, that's a powerful thing. Like you can practice that. What can you do to practice that? There's apps. I mean, you can just try sitting with yourself or set a timer. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people feel like they don't have ten minutes or yeah. five minutes even. To just, like in you've the got morning. ten minutes. You've I'm got ten you, minutes. You've got ten minutes. <laughs> like Tony Robbins says, if you don't have ten minutes in the morning to set up your day for a positive spiral, like upward, then you don't have a life. <laughs> yeah. If you don't have, if you think you don't have, 10 you can't minutes. sit with yourself for ten minutes. So. That's so, to me, that's one of the most important things. Just like being able to be, because that's 
At the end of the day, that's what all this stuff that we're doing allows us to do. We like are able to grow food better. We're able to. We have all this technology that is supposed to make living easy, but we get it all, and then we like get to this point where we want more. Like we're sitting here with all this like. You said like electricity in this warm and like, cozy house in the winter. Mm -hmm. we're, like, oh, something else now. <laughs> like, we're just trained to do that. <laughs> but that's like all this stuff is still allow us to just be. Like you should get to that point and be like, cool, now I can just like I did all the work I needed to do and that doesn't have to be a bad thing either if it's something you really care about. But after that we should be able to appreciate just being but now it's like too easy all the time. So it's, we don't even appreciate that. Like, so much of the time we don't really have to do anything, so it's just like standard. I feel like people are too scared of like dying and not feeling like they didn't have a full life. So they're doing all this stuff to like, like they go to school so they can get the good job, so they can, so they're always busy and never like appreciating anything or doing things that you like. Mm -hmm. And so they end up like, old and still feel like they're not fulfilled because mm -hmm. they spent all their time doing all the stuff they don't like yeah. to do stuff they wanted to like yeah, 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 and they didn't yeah, get any exactly. time to do it. Yeah. <laughs> like you can totally flip that paradigm. Yeah. Do the things you love, be happy, and then do great work and then be successful. That's from a book. I can't remember which one it is, but yeah. be happy, do great work, be successful. Not be successful. No, do great work, be successful, then be happy. Like, happiness should be first. Yeah. yeah. There's another quote. It's, um, your ego says, once everything falls into place, I'll find peace. But your spirit says, once I find peace, everything will fall into place. Yeah. It's like, start with that. And that's like the 10 minutes a day. Like, mm -hmm. start your day, like, grounding yourself to what you are and, like, what is true to you and how you feel before you just jump into all this shit without thinking about it and you're on this like hamster wheel like start out with like all right today i need to like do these things or set your intention whatever it may be for that particular day like we skip that step but it's so crucial it's <laughs> like feel what it feels like to breathe you guys know what it feels like to breathe, but not all it's the time. pretty good. <laughs> yeah, no, not all the time. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a thing. So appreciate it when you can. Everyone's <laughs> pretty good. Turns out. It's <laughs> vital. You need it to survive. Yeah, so, uh, um, good, uh, Express sesh. <laughs> so, if you're watching this video, tomorrow morning, write down five things you're grateful for and ask someone the most exciting thing that happened that day. They'll be hyped. They'll be hyped, for real. Five things. Alright. Peace out, y'all.